in in your opinion, man, who do you think is the best fighter in the world right now? <laughs> I know that's tough. I know that's tough. <laughs> well, who do you think? Um, in the world, who is the best fighter? Planet Earth. <laughs> we could throw Mars in there too if you want. <laughs> Well, there there are a few uh, undefeated fighters out there. Um, um, well, if you were to look at it um, financially, um, um, the ones that one would say that could be at the top and money does play a, 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 a factor right or wrong. If you can fight and make $50 million or $100 million, is that saying that you're the best or is that saying that the, the marketing was done right? The, the promotional portion of it was 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 done right. I'd probably and, say I'd probably say that's more so popularity. So you know, if we just take that out and just skills, like this guy, he's the best pound for pound. Like that's hated or love it. He's the guy. <laughs> well, if 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 we were looking at, um, uh, I I like I, and I mentioned earlier, I think that Terrence Crawford skill wise. has exhibited uh, skills probably better than anyone that's out there now. Being able to switch from righty to lefty, lefty to righty. And he has that ability. Um, but like I said, it, it, there's a lot of other factors that, 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 that goes into it, like, you know, what, what their purse sizes are. Is that dictated or not? It, it, I don't think it should, but again, it's yeah, yeah. I, I, I it's yeah. I, 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 I usually don't address those kind of questions, Hans. I don't because yeah, well, I, I got to ask you the hard stuff, man. I got yeah. it. <laughs> um, just uh, two more questions for you, man. And you've been great, but yeah. um, just wanted to know. I'm. I'm a lot of people would like to know and you don't have to give me specific numbers of course not. but in terms of like what a referee actually makes from the beginning to you know all the way at the top and like there's not a lot of referees that make it all the way to the top like you made it to all the big shows like not a, of course not an exact number but like a rough estimate so that people could be like damn like that's how much <laughs> referees are getting man i mean you got a nice house <laughs> so you know i know you live it well so so yeah just curious man i know a lot of people would love to like get a ballpark just understanding well I, or what I, is I, it or maybe what the pay is like based on you know Uh, 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 a lot of times, the pay uh, the pay it, it could be based on a percentage as to what the fighters are making. Uh, I know that's how they do it internationally. Um, um, but in the state of Nevada, the the commission sets sets the price. Um, uh, you, you have to understand that referees we're like independent contractors. I have no say so as to how much I make. Mm. I, I have no say so. So the commissions, they they set uh, executive director. They set the the price, um, and they um, and because we're independent contractors, uh, people think that we're working on every fight card, and that isn't how it works. Uh, Um, uh, when we get notified to work, if we're available, we work. If we're not available, we don't work. Um, uh, you don't quit your day job to be a professional boxing referee. Mm. 
because professional boxing referee doesn't pay the bills. Mm. Uh, um, I have read on the internet uh, people making statements that I make a million dollars a fight. I do not make a million dollars a fight. I don't come close. Well, I'll sum it up by saying this. The richest boxing fight card in the history of this planet was when Floyd Mayweather fought Manny Pacquiao. Mm -hmm. Floyd Mayweather, they said, ended up making around 200 million. It could be more. They said Manny Pacquiao made 120 million. It could be more. I don't know, but I only got paid 25,000. Mm. That's what they got paid, but I only got paid 25,000. Mm. So for all those fans that think that there's a big check at the end of the rainbow for us in these fights that we referee, they're mistakenly wrong because there is no big check waiting there at the end of the rainbow for us. Got it. Um, my last question would love to know, what made you decide, like, it's the right time to walk away. Like, you haven't had any controversial stoppages. You haven't done anything where it was just like, eh, Nah, you Bayless is off his A game, man. Can't you, Benny ain't be, Bayless ain't been the same for a little while. You know, like it's when you announced it, it was just like a surprise to like a lot of people. So, what made you do it? Was it just like, eh, I'm getting a little older. I just want to chill back with the family and whatever. What was the what was the push, man? <laughs> and do you get well, the itch that, to come back? Hans, that was part of it, but the other part of it was, um. I've been refereeing for 32 years. I was in the in the amateur program as a judge and referee for 12 years. So I've been around the sport for many, many years. And, and my health is good. Uh, I still work out, exercise. And um, um, yeah. A, a, a lot of my podcasts, they, they've asked me just that. Why? Um, um, I've been blessed to get through the number of years that I've gotten through. Um, I've told people that uh, in my early career, I had challenges. And the type of challenges I'm talking about are challenges where uh, they didn't want me as a referee when I first got started. Gotcha. Did not want me, and I had to fight to become a referee. And from all my fighting, and from all the, uh, the, the, the 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 being an independent contractor, and and just getting pushed around was for uh, uh, says a lot for me as a far as what I've accomplished, and um. Um, uh, our commission now um, are, are bringing in uh, referees from different states, which they are referees that I know. They are good and qualified referees, and I just felt that it's it's their time now. I I uh, figured that I could, could could involve myself in the sport of boxing in another way, so I just felt that. They always say go out when you're on top. So I figure I can't be no more on top of of it for uh, the last, you know, 15, 16 years or so that I've been on top. So let me go out with a smile on my face. I'm pretty sure you still get that itch a little bit, though. Like, that's a, that's a big fight right there. I wouldn't mind wrapping that one. I'm pretty sure you still get that itch, though. <laughs> well, I... Um, I, I've been blessed with doing some of the b biggest fights on the planet. I mean, at one point, out of the five top fights uh, in the state of Nevada, I did four of the five. So, um, yeah, I, I have nothing to 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 look back on and say I shoulda, I woulda, I coulda, because 
I I did it all. Fair enough, man. That's that is the perfect way to end it. Look, you were you were great. Really appreciate you jumping on, man. This was probably my favorite interview ever. And I've spoken to everybody. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you. Thank you, brother. I'll talk to you soon. We'll definitely keep in touch and make it happen again, man. Thank you. Okay. You got it. Anytime. Thank you, man. All right.